Hello and welcome to lesson 31, Determining Statistical Test. Determining or choosing a statistical test for our data analysis is a very important task that we have to pay attention. Since we do have multiple types of statistical tests for data analysis, we have to know which statistical test is suitable or proper for our data analysis. Thus, in this lesson, we are going to discuss about the important issues or the important factors that we have to consider in determining which statistical test we are going to use for our data analysis. These are some of the factors that we have to use in determining a statistical test to use in data analysis. So the first is to know the purpose of the data analysis, whether the data analysis purpose is to find the relationship between the variables or to see the difference between the groups or the samples or to find the prediction of one variable with the other variable. So we have to see, we have to identify the purpose of the data analysis, either it is relationship, difference, or prediction. And the second is the data type or the level of the measurement scale, whether it is categorical data, that is the qualitative data, or continuous data, that is quantitative data, which can be expressed in fractions. And the third factor that we have to see in determining a statistical test is the number of samples or groups. It may be one, two, or three. And the fourth one is the experimental design. The experimental design can be paired or unpaired. In the case of paired, we do have one sample or we do have a single group, but we do have multiple measures or repeated measures or paired measures. And the unpaired test is in this case, we do have separate groups or independent groups, and we do have separate measures or independent measures as well. And the fifth one is the number of independent variables. The number of independent variables also determine which statistical test can be used. Now let us see how these factors determine which statistical test can be used for our data analysis. Based on the purpose of the data analysis, if we want to find the relationship between the variables, the next thing that we have to see is the data type. The data type can be broadly divided into categorical and continuous. If it is continuous, so we can apply Pearson correlation to find the relationship between the continuous data. If it is categorical data, so we can apply chi-squared association test. And the second is to the second purpose of data analysis is to find the difference between the means or the mean, difference between the variance of the samples or the groups. So in that case, the next is to see the data type. And if it is categorical, so we can apply the chi-square test for differences. And if it is continuous, the next point that we have to see is the number of groups or samples. So if the number of groups or samples is two, and the next point that we have to see is the experimental design, whether it is paired or unpaired. So if we do have one sample and we take repeated measures of that samples, so we can apply paired sample t-test. And if we do have two samples or two groups and if we take independent measures or independent observations so we can apply unpaired or independent t-test and if the number of groups or samples is greater than or equal to three so the next thing that we have to see is the number of independent variables how much how many independent variables do we have so if we do have one independent variable so we can apply one way ANOVA, and if we do have two independent variables, so we can have, we can apply two way ANOVA. And the next purpose of our data analysis is the prediction, that means predicting one variable based on the other variables. So in this case, the next is to see the data type, whether it is uh, categorical or continuous. So if it is categorical data, so we can apply logistic regression. 
and if it is continuous data so the next thing that we have to see is the number of independent variables if the number of independent variable is one so we can apply simple regression and if the number of independent variable is more than two so we can apply multiple regression so this is how we can determine the statistical test to apply in our data analysis this is the end of my discussion and thank you for listening and please subscribe my channel if you like this video please hit the like button and share to your friends thank you